Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice for September 29th, 2016. Um, so this is a general reading looking at the energies that surround us at this time, what we need to know about these energies in order to be able to use them for our highest good. And so since we're looking at energies, these are going to manifest in different ways for different people in different areas of life for different people. So as always, keep in mind and take away the message of the reading and apply it to your own situation if you feel that it speaks to you. Um, so let's have a look. Um, it looks like the energy is kind of toning down a little bit. I feel like we've had some intense energy in the past few days and um, it feels like it's calming down. At least we don't have any more major arcanas in today's reading anyway. And the first card uh, representing the influence of the past on our current situation is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands represents victory, triumph, uh, being successful, being rewarded, being acknowledged. Okay, this is someone who's celebrated by their peers, celebrated by the people who admire him. This is also someone leading um, by example, okay, with the Six of Wands. Um, and so it definitely talks about the fact that we have accomplished at least something big in the recent days or even weeks, okay? Um, and it feels like a big break, okay? It feels like a breakthrough with the Six of Wands for some of us. And this can be, you know, getting the job you wanted. This could be starting that relationship you've been looking for. Um, this could be getting your health back on track, getting your fitness back on track, um, focusing on your spirituality and making sense of things, or, you know, finding it easier to work with your spiritual gifts expanding, developing your spiritual gifts, um, whatever the situation may be for you, the Six of Wands represents victory, it represents triumph, and it also says that a lot of people are paying attention to what we are doing and have taken our example, okay, with the Six of Wands. Um, and the energy of today is the Seven of Swords. So with the Seven of Swords, some of us may be preparing um, I feel that some of us may be pre preparing for a trip, um, and this could be planning, uh, figuring out what you need on the trip, figuring out what, what you want to pack, um, actually packing. For some of us, this could represent just moving. Um, for this, it's just preparing for a trip, okay? And it can be a physical trip, or it can actually starting, it can be starting a spiritual journey of some sort um, with the Seven of Swords. Um, this is also an energy that says kind of, not necessarily watch your back in a, in a bad way, but just make sure that you don't leave any loose ends in the uh, projects or situations um, that you're focusing on at this time. Make sure you've got everything you need, okay? Get yourself a list and kind of just go through the list, make sure it's all there. Um, when it comes to tasks and goals and all of that, the Seven of Swords can also say that you may be a bit distracted today and so that's why there's a need for you to be organized, there's a need for you to be practical and down to earth as opposed to just focusing on everything else. The Seven of Swords uh, can also represent um, a, an encouragement or a caution, if you will, uh, for us not to try to do everything all at once or for us not to try to um, carry too much all at one time. Um, and also they're saying, you know, be mindful of the burdens that you bear. Are they truly yours or do you need to kind of return them to, to their sender, so to speak, okay? And of course the Seven of Swords can also represent um, being a bit secretive today or maybe being a bit more mindful of who you trust because with the Seven of Swords energy it sometimes can represent um, dealing with certain people who don't have our best interest at heart or who are just out for themselves. But I don't think we need to look at it in that way, in those terms, because that brings a lot of difficult and heavy energy into that situation and a lot of ego-based fears and thoughts. And so just, um, I think it's just enough to say, um, focus on what you're doing. You do the best you can, okay? You just focus on your work, like let your work speak for itself and just take some precautions in terms of making sure that you get the credit for the work um, or that everyone knows that that's your work. Um, if you're not sure if you can trust someone, don't trust them until you know better, okay? And it's just being mindful and um, planning ahead, being strategic a little bit for today with the Seven of Swords is what I'm getting. 
And I am getting that for some of us, it may talk about things kind of slipping through our fingers or things kind of slipping away because we haven't um, properly prepared for something or pro properly taken the time to make a plan for something. And it's almost like we're overlooking certain things um, that can set us back a little bit in our progress with that specific situation. So it's just a card that talks about being mindful. Okay, we have the moon on the card. Okay, we have the moon and Aquarius. So just being mindful that we're not a bit, you know, scattered brain, um, that we don't have our head in the clouds, that we're not confused, okay? It's just being practical today and down to earth and just getting organized and strategizing and planning before we set out on any new venture, okay? And the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with is the Nine of Swords. And so what I feel this is, um, it's a cautioning that if we do get into those ego-based ego fears, this is where we're going to get to. If we start thinking that um, we can't trust anyone or everyone's out to get, the, get us or um, everyone wants to steal our work or we're never going to get credit for our work, I feel like, you know, we're just going to end up in a situation that, you know, is going to keep us up at night worrying a lot. And so the Nine of Swords just talks about, once again, being realistic, okay? It's Swords, and the Nine of Swords represents our thoughts, and also just focusing on our deepest fears, focusing on what's the worst that can happen, as opposed to just minding your business, doing the work, and hoping for the best, you know what I mean? Um, and so with the Nine of Swords, this also represents clearing your head, seeing things clearly, because with the Nine of Swords, um, the situation we think we're looking at, oftentimes it really is not as bad as we think it is. It's just our perception of it because of our fears, because of our doubts, because of our insecurities, because of our worries. And so it just says that for today, you know, the way to move forward is to plan, to be down to earth, to be realistic, to be practical, uh, get yourself a list going, get yourself a do's and don'ts, get yourself a pros and cons. Um, just write things down it will help you see things clearer okay more clearly um, and it will help you make whatever decisions you may need to make at this time okay um, a lot easier so that you don't get to the nine of swords situation where you're stressing over choices you may have made or decisions you may have to make or um, people you work with or the environment you work with okay or you work in and um, so the message for today I feel like there's gonna be a lot of mental activity going on uh, we may be doing a lot of um, thinking, analyzing, researching, and then we can tend to go overboard and overthink things or overanalyze things, look at things in too much detail, therefore starting to stress and worry because we kind of lose perspective. We lose sight of the bigger picture, okay? And so for the time being, the Seven of Swords just represents enjoy your triumphs, enjoy your victories. Uh, remember that you are leading other people. Remember that people are looking up to you and people are taking your example. So it's important that we also keep that in mind um, because at least if we, if we feel like uh, we don't really want to make a certain effort for ourselves in a certain day when we realize that actually um, a child is looking up to us or someone younger uh, or someone in our environment is really looking up to us and, and learning from what we do, then maybe that may give us a push to say, okay, well, actually, I'll just, I'll have to finish this. I will finish this because I need to show them that I keep my promises or anything like that, okay? It's just about keeping an eye on the bigger picture for today and getting ourselves a plan so that we don't get lost on the path from where we are to accomplishing the goal that we're working on today, okay? Whatever that is for you once again. And our guidance card for today is Peach. The number is 19 and it says, inhale a breath of life. And this says, calm down a little bit, okay? This says, bring some positivity into the mix, bring some joy into the mix, some laughter. Um, this also, for some of us, it talks about drinking more water and eating more fruit today. Uh, maybe peaches, you know, um, um, I think they do have uh, cleansing properties or at least they bring more uh, liquid um, into our bodies and uh, uh, vitamins and all of that, obviously. So whatever fruit you enjoy, um, maybe have some more of that today because I do feel like it's going to be some good energy that comes into um, our bodies that's going to help us clear our head as well. Every little counts, okay? So 
Um, and with the peach, this is just focus on the bigger picture. Focus on the, the goal. Focus on your outcome that you want to manifest, okay? And just take a deep breath and take it one day at a time. Take it one step at a time. Make sure you enjoy yourself. Make sure that you don't forget, you know, just how capable you are. Just bring some fun into it. Give yourself some time to relax, some time to recharge your batteries, okay? If a situation is, is difficult for you and you're not really sure what to do about it right now, this says just take a break from it, okay, and, and focus on something else. Focus on something productive. Focus on something fun, creative, or constructive. Don't think about that situation. You know, let it go. Let it cool. And then when you go back to it a day or two later, uh, you will see things differently. You will have gained a different perspective is what I'm getting with um, the peach card. And so overall, I feel like it's a really... It's a good message because it just reminds us to stay balanced, stay grounded, um, focus on what we can do now and not worry about the things we cannot do yet or we're not there yet. We don't have to think about those things just yet. You know, just worry about it when you get to that bridge. Um, if you have to, I would, I would rather say think about it when you get to that bridge, not really worry about it. And it's just about being present in the now and keeping our end goal in the back of our head so that we keep that bigger picture in our minds, but also trying to focus on the things that we can do here and now today and get a plan going on how we can move forward in a way that we're happy with, that we're comfortable with. Um, remember, trust yourself. Um, if you're not sure who to trust, just keep things to yourself for a, for a little bit until you get more information. Remember that for today, we may be a bit confused uh, for whatever, of whatever reason we may have our head in the cloud and I do feel because this is because we're thinking about t too many details at the same time and we can get lost in that, okay? So whenever you find yourself thinking like that today, take a step back, take a deep breath, focus on something different, focus on something creative, on something positive, let that situation cool off a little bit and then when you go back to it, it won't seem so bad and it won't seem so big and it won't seem so difficult or heavy. So. There you have it. That's our message for today. I really hope that you enjoy it and I hope that it helps. Um, thank you so, so much for being here with me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking my videos, for sharing them, for watching them. Uh, thanks for commenting. Thanks for following me on Instagram. You know, I've added a, a button on my channel page uh, that takes you directly to my Instagram. Um, it's, I think, on the, um, I don't know what it's called now, the channel image. And you've got the link to ordering a reading. You've got the link to Instagram. Um, I also put the link to PayPal donations. If that's something you want to do, it's just up, up there if you want to do it. And if not, it's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm, uh, I'm getting myself organized as well. And I'm trying new things. But I'm setting up a plan before I do. So um, it's just an example of that. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. I hope that we all have a beautiful day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.